Hi, welcome to 5 Minutes to Amazon Cognito. Amazon Cognito provides federated identity and secure cross-platform, cross-device data synchronization in the Amazon cloud. So what exactly is AWS Cognito? It provides federated user identity management and temporary AWS identity and access management user credentials for your application or users. If you look at the image, the flow goes like this. A user accesses your web or mobile application and logs in with one of the public logon providers such as Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, Google, or any OpenID Connect compatible provider, or you can even use your own identity provider. The identity provider gives an identity token to your application, which then passes it to Amazon Cognito. Cognito uses Amazon security token service to get temporary limited privilege credentials for the federated users. Cognito also provides data synchronization across devices and platforms. In today's world, people have multiple devices. They're on their laptop at work, they're constantly on their smartphone, and they go home and relax on their tablet. Cognito syncs all user data so that whenever a user picks up any one of their devices, they have a consistent user experience and they can pick up right where they left off on the other device. So let's see how it works. In the AWS console, you'll find Cognito under Mobile Services. If you've never clicked on Cognito before, this left side will be empty. And that's because creating an identity pool is the first step in using Cognito. Identity pools will hold all of the user identities that use your application. You give it a name, and if you want to enable access for people that don't log in with the public identity providers that you're going to choose, you would check this box. That would be if you want people to test your application before logging in. Then you choose your authentication providers and you can see there are many to choose from. I'm going to choose Facebook and use the default example that they give you and say create pool. When you create a pool, Cognito creates a new identity and access management role that by default has access to mobile analytics, sync, and Cognito identity. You can edit this if you'd like. Once you have the IAM role set up, it takes you to the sample code area. However, I'm first going to edit the identity pool. Let's take note first of this identity pool ID, which you're going to use in your code later. You can set up a variety of additional settings in this window. I'm going to enable push synchronization. What that does is when a user's data changes on one device, it then pushes the change to all of their devices. You can create a new role or I have already created a role and save the changes. When you've created the sync role, you want to go into your IAM dashboard, click on the sync role that you created and make sure that it has Amazon SNS full access. From here, you're prompted to choose your platform that you're going to create on, or you can use the server side backend APIs. You're prompted to download the SDK and then it shows you how to set up some of the basics. For example, to get the AWS credentials for the ID identity pool, which is why I pointed out to take note of that identity pool ID and also how to store the user data. Once a user logs in with your authentication provider, they will have an identity ID, which you could put into here and search for the user's data set and make changes or delete it if necessary. I want to show you a really fast way to get started with Cognito through the mobile hub. In the mobile hub, all you have to do is click on these GUI configuration set them up, click on build, choose your platform, and it creates a boilerplate source package for you with the configurations that you just made. I wanted to show you what you get when you say download the sample project after you configure your mobile device and the settings that you want in the mobile hub on AWS. You first have to install an emulator, but once you do that, you have a nice emulator that you can run. You have your Cognito test, which is what I downloaded that I created. You have your Cognito test project that I named and downloaded. And then you have all of these different layouts and you can really just start building your app right from here. It also has the code boilerplate, which is really nice.